Hi everyone, I'm going to quickly show you how to use the new VLC app which will allow you to play DVDs on your Apple TV without that weird gray box that probably has been happening if you've tried to play a DVD on your Apple TV. So I'm going to walk you through the steps really quick, hopefully in less than a minute, that's my goal anyways. First thing you're going to do to be able to play a DVD is you're going to click on your finder down on the bottom and then I want you to click where it says applications, these are your apps. Once you've opened that up, scroll down until you get to the VLC, it's in alphabetical order so it's going to be at the end, it's got this little cone on it. Open that guy up. Once that cone is open, or once that app is opened up, you're then going to put your DVD in, so this might take a moment for the DVD to go into my computer and load up because I want to show you exactly what it looks like. So when you put the DVD in, it might automatically launch this DVD player. That app is not going to work for you, so you have to close that one out if that does open up automatically. So I'll give it a moment, and I'm betting that's going to open automatically. Let's just let it think for a sec. Alright, you can see Hamlet is the video I'm trying to show. It popped up on my desktop. You can see in a moment this DVD player is going to start up, so I'm going to close it out, which is probably going to happen to you. I'll give it a second to think. Look, there's the gray screen. Oh, I'm going to close it out. What I want you to do then is I want you to take your DVD, it should be on your desktop, drag it and drop it right onto your VLC media player. Now for me, I already had Hamlet in there, so look, I'll delete it off. Yours will probably look like this, so when you drag it and drop it, it's going to upload that file to there. Once it's on there, you double click on it to open it up, and I'll give it a second to open up. And then, usually for me, I can't click play movie, it won't let me, but let's see if it'll work now. Okay, it worked now. Movie should be going and it should work on your Apple TV. If you have any questions or concerns about how to make this work, please just let me know.